Welcome back. In this video, I'll be writing the code to extract the data we want from these RSS feeds. All of this functionality will live in a tiny module called feed, so let's create that. So I'm adding a file to our project named feed.py, and this file is going to import that feed parser module that I covered in the previous video. What we want to do here is firstly to abstract around this feed parser module. So the rest of our project isn't going to use this feed parser directly. We're going to use methods that encapsulate the feed parser. So the first method we're going to use is parse, which is going to take a URL and for now, it's just going to return feed parser dot parse. So it's basically a proxy for this feed parser dot parse method. The reason we're doing this is later we may want to replace this feed parser module with another feed parser for whatever reason, or we may want to augment its functionality a bit. Like maybe we want to change some of the data that's returned from it to make it easier to use later on. Either way, this is going to make it easier to do those changes. So then there are two main methods that we're going to want to deal with these feeds. Uh, the first method is going to be get source. So this is going to take a parsed feed, what, which is going to be what's returned from this parse function, and it's going to get our feed source. It's going to get information about that feed. So I'll go ahead and open up a terminal here. Let's open Python real quick and import that feed parser module. The feed I'm going to use in these videos is this planet python feed which is a pretty neat feed that has a bunch of Python-related blog articles. So now we have this parsed feed. We want to get the feed object from it because that contains information about the feed source. We're calling it source in this project. Um, so I'm breaking things down into two different data models here. We're going to have the source, which is the feed itself. So the source is like the origin of the data. And then the article, which is every article that is published by the source. So we have articles and sources. And in this method, we want to extract information about the source. So we know that first we'll want to get the feed from this parsed object, just like I did here. And then we're going to return an object, or a dictionary object. It's going to have a few keys. So. I think the link is going to be one of the keys we want. And we can get that like this because we have this, this key on this object here. Um, the title is definitely going to be another key that we want. Probably just the subtitle after that. 
which is yeah right here oops Okay, so really we're just obtaining a subset of this this feed object on our parsed response. But this is good because any feed reader can return this subset. So if we do end up changing this feed parser module later on, or we end up um, parsing the data from a different portion, like maybe from different keys within the feed, then we're still going to be able to return this subset. The next thing we want to do is write our get articles method. And so this is going to return a list of each article that's in this parsed feed. So we know that this feed parser module returns a key that has the entries in it, and it does return a list. So like if you wanted to get the first entry, you do this. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit easier to show you. I'll do I'm going to import the pretty print module. And grab this parsed entry and just pretty print it so it's easier to read. Let's see what attributes this model has. It's kind of messy, but it has this ID property, and that's going to be an ID that will be unique for this source, for this feed. This ID should be unique to this article. So we're definitely going to want to grab that. Um, first we need to grab this entries list I'm going to create a list for our response here so for each entry in entries we will append to the articles list this dictionary at the end of our function we're going to want to return those articles so for each entry we're going to append a dictionary and this dictionary is going to contain this ID that we're interested in. So entry ID. And uh, I think it's pretty reasonable that we're going to want a link to the article. So we can click on it and go read the article. Uh, now it's got two published fields. One is published underscore parsed and this actually contains a time structure so this is this is a Python object a date time object and for our uses this is going to be more more useful so the published field that we return here is going to be this published parsed object from the entry. 
we're calling it published, um, but it's the parsed value of this published field from the actual feed. The reason I'm going to grab the parsed value is because we can reformat it however we want, but the work to parse the data into a known Python date time data type has already been done. So I want to just keep that object. I'll ignore what the original parse or the original published date text is. So next I want to grab a title. Entries all have titles. And a summary. The summary contains a lot in this Planet Python feed. I prefer for it to just contain a little bit of text as a summary for the article, but it looks like for Planet Python it's the whole thing. We can deal with that later. But for now, I think we've got the methods that we'll be using to interface with these feeds. So whenever we have a feed, we're going to say, hey, this feed module dot parse the URL for the feed. And that's going to return an object that we can then call get source on, and we can call get articles on. Uh, we could make this a class and have these as methods on this class. But for now, I'll just leave them as these little helper functions. In the next video, we'll set up SQL Alchemy and start defining some SQL models to store this data. Bye.